Let me show you how to create subdomains. It's very easy to do. We can do it in two steps. And why would you want subdomains? Because with each one, you can put a different landing page or a different property site or personal agent site on each and every one. These are website addresses that we use for our pages. So if your domain is, here's an example, jerryrealtor.com. Here are some good subdomains that would work for, for you as a real estate agent. Just grab a term like buy, sell, list, new, and add it to your domain to create a subdomain like this. Now let's say you have a property coming up. You have a new listing, it's on 23 Main Street. Well, maybe you wanna do a new Facebook campaign for it. You can create a subdomain like that, 23main.jerryrealtor.com. And we can place any type of page on that and then that would be the website address that you would use maybe with a Facebook ad. So what I'm gonna do right now is show you the two steps to create a subdomain. Here are the two steps, and then after this, I'll go inside the, the cPanel to create a subdomain. So I'll take care of step one, where we click the cPanel to create it. Then we go step two, we click the Manage Websites icon to add it, the new subdomain to your account. It's very easy. Those are the two steps. Let's do that right now. Here I am inside the website area, and the icons that we need are right here. Here's the cPanel, here's the Manage Websites icon for step two. I'm just gonna zoom in on that. So we just click cPanel. We go inside the cPanel here, and we have a few different servers and different cPanels. They're basically the same, but they might be listed a little bit differently. All you have to do is find the subdomains icon and click that. And that'll bring you to a page like this. So to create a subdomain, let's just say we want to do that property site on 45 Main Street. So all you type in is that term, like buy, sell, or in this case, 45 Main. As soon as you do that, I click here, and you'll see under document root, it'll just add the subdomain. That is not what you want. You want to change this. And this is the tricky part right here. You need to enter that term, public underscore HTML. Do you see that? That's it. All you have to do is make sure under document root, before you click that create button, you see this. So we just click that. Right here, I'm going to click it, and you'll see it'll be created. And there we go, success. So we just created this subdomain. The subdomain is not just 45 main, it's the entire thing. So you want to copy that. Real quick, I'm going to go back. If you have other domains also, you may have three or four domains with us, they'll be listed here so you can add subdomains to any domain that's already added to your account. But right now I'm going to go to step two. So we just took care of step one, now I'm going to step two where I'm going to click the manage websites icon and add the new subdomain to the account. Here I am back in the website area and we want to click manage websites icon right there. Just click that and you'll see a field to enter the subdomain. It's right here. You don't just enter 45 main. I copied it so I just entered the entire subdomain including .com and that's it. And then all you do is you click create website. And that's it. We just added a subdomain correctly. You'll see it listed right here. And that means it's ready for a template. So I like to go back here, click home, and you'll see it listed in the website area right here. If you see a domain or subdomain listed here, it means you just added it with the Manage Websites link. So we just took care of step two, and it's now ready. Here's the subdomain right here. And to add a template to it, we just click that. So just to recap, the two steps are, the first thing you do is click cPanel, and then click subdomains and enter your subdomain there. Again, remember this important step. Under the field document root, you must enter public underscore HTML, and that's it. Make sure you enter that, then click that create button right below it. And then after you do that, go to step two, where you click Manage Websites and add your subdomain there.
Once you do that, you'll be ready to add a template to that subdomain.